I've been mayor for almost six years, and sorry, I've got, I'll just apologize in advance for the voice. Um, and uh, it's a little bit hard to turn the reins over, okay? And, and for those of you that know sort of my approach to the job, I take it personally, it's a passion of mine. I don't, you know, I do sweat the small stuff, and I think that makes the difference. And so um, it's hard to think about turning the reins over, but not when I think about Kevin, okay? A lot of what uh, the previous two speakers have talked about um, is what goes into that. Um, Kevin is obviously a, a great man, a great father, and those things are we sort of Kevin is this kind of guy, right? He doesn't um, didn't coach soccer as some sort of grand political scheme. He did because he loved his kids and he liked doing that or make sure kids had a good experience. And same reason he joined, uh, you know, I can't remember what your first board was back in like 2000 or whatever, but he did. He does it because he wants to be a servant, and I think that is sort of the core of who Kevin is. But to me, the thing that the differentiator, so we have a lot of momentum due to a lot, a lot of the people in this room, a lot of momentum in Carrollton, right? So I think we've bent the curve in such a great way through all of our efforts over the last few years. But what Kevin has that really makes me confident that we're going to keep that going is he's got the, I guess chops is the word I had, that, that makes the most sense. He's got the chops to work with staff, but also nudge staff in a way that makes things move on because um, the first time an idea is presented at City Hall, it's not always, that's great, let's go do it. So it takes uh, a lot of chops to push that forward and to work with the City Council, gather those folks together, and then combine that with the vision of the community. And Kevin has Kevin has all of those things. He's got a business background. That, and Kevin's, Kevin and I are similar in that we're uh, not necessarily going to tell you all this stuff. But the guy's like a brilliant businessman. He's worked in huge companies. He knows systems. He knows finance. These are things, again, we sort of take for granted. But in addition to being awesome and knowing the city all in and out, great guy, he knows business, he knows the city. Uh, he's grown up in this whole area. And um, uh, I'm, I'm proud to call him a friend. Uh, I'm proud to call him, I was proud to call him a colleague. And uh, in three months, with all of our help, I'll be proud to call him the next mayor of Carrollton, Kevin Falconer.